2019 is upon us and gaming analysts are making some pretty big predictions for Overwatch. In particular, it sounds like Overwatch could be going free to play sometime this year. This is Master Ian Gamer, and let's get into it. Now, as many of you may recall, only about a month ago, I actually made a video on my channel talking about Overwatch going free to play and discussing the various pros and cons about them making a change like that and when I thought that change would happen. At the time, my original prediction for when we were gonna see it go free to play was probably not until the game was about maybe 10 years old. Overall, my thoughts were that it would be quite a while before we saw any kind of change like that, but according to video game analysts, it sounds like some of them are expecting this change to happen much, much sooner. So according to an analyst on GamesIndustry.biz, Activision will make Overwatch free to play. According to this analyst, I think that the 18 Overwatch League owners have been assured by Blizzard that it'll expand the audience for Overwatch. The most expedient way to do this is to make the core game free to play in order to attract tens of millions of new players, who ostensibly will convert to OWL viewers. I expect this by mid-June, the third anniversary of the launch of the original game, disgruntled players who bought the core game will likely be compensated by being given free stuff, skins, and other cosmetic items. Now I do want to interject real quickly to say that analysts are by no means 100% right all the time. There have been tons of analytical predictions about Overwatch in the past which didn't turn out to be true. For example, I recall one analyst back in the day stated that Overwatch 2 was going to be a announced all the way back at BlizzCon 2017. Well, that obviously didn't happen because we're more than a year past that, and we still haven't heard anything about a second Overwatch game, so by no means should we interpret these analyst predictions as fact. However, it is these people's jobs to make reasonable predictions like this, so presumably they're coming off of something. I think he makes a really good point regarding the Overwatch League and how Blizzard will be trying to get more people invested in the Overwatch League by getting more people invested in Overwatch, and of course, a very quick and easy way to do that is to open the game up to everyone by making it free to play. However, while it will of course bring in many new players, it also has a number of downsides with it. These are some of the things I touched on in my original video discussing Overwatch going free to play, but one of the biggest issues with doing this is the abundance of smurfs it would produce. Now I know that consoles already have a bit of an issue with people being able to easily make alternate accounts to just smurf as much as they want and ruin people's gaming experience. PC players, though, if they want to make an alternate account, have always had to buy a second copy of the game. Whether they just want to have an alternate account to play some different heroes in competitive, or if they are going to be despicable enough to actually try smurfing, all of that required them to spend more money, which was a huge deterrent from getting people to do that. However, if you make the game free to play and you knock down that barrier, I think it's safe to say that we'll start seeing many, many more smurfs in the game after that happens. That factor alone would make me want to say that this analyst is probably going to be wrong and that Overwatch isn't going to go free to play this soon. However, there is one other factor which has fairly recently popped up which makes me question that, and that's Activision's continual takeover of Blizzard. Activision has made it very clear that they're interested in monetizing Overwatch and Blizzard's other titles as much as possible, and given the immense success of free-to-play models in games such as Fortnite, I would not be surprised surprised if Activision themselves push Overwatch to be free to play so that they can then inject their own new forms of monetization into the game. As for what these new monetized forms will be, well that's kind of hard to say. The most straightforward one would be that they rework the loot system so that either loot boxes or credits themselves are much much harder to get unless you buy them with real money. Now I think we can all agree that that's something we really really don't want to see in game, but if it goes free to play at this point in time, it's inevitable that Activision is going to want to find some way to make up for the lost money through people buying the game itself. I suppose the most player-friendly way they could go about it then would be to introduce either brand new kinds of cosmetics or other sort of features or items in the game that you pay for but still don't affect gameplay itself. That way, when it goes free to play, us players who are used to how it is now won't have any of that taken away from us and locked behind a new paywall, but rather we would then have the additional option to spend money on other things which otherwise weren't there originally. Given the sort of brave new world we've entered currently with Activision's recent campaign to take over Blizzard, honestly, I think it is kind of possible that we will see it go free to play much, much sooner than I had originally predicted a month ago. It's 
really just too early to tell what exactly is going to all end up happening with this new Activision takeover, but Overwatch going free to play definitely seems like a viable direction for them to take it. Addressing the analyst's article again, he did say that players who bought the core game will likely be compensated with getting free skins and cosmetic items, and I do think they would probably do that if it did go free to play so that people who bought the game just like a month before it goes free will still get something to make up for the fact that they had to spend 40 or $60 on it. Also, the idea of it going free to play during the anniversary event to celebrate its new year does seem like a pretty likely thing to happen, whether it's in 2019 or another five years from now. So the analyst does make some good points about what we'd realistically see when Overwatch does eventually go free to play. However, I am still skeptical about this actually happening in 2019. While yes, the game will be three years old come May, which for games in today's modern gaming environment is kind of old, Blizzard has always designed their games to be long-term titles, ones that can stick around for years and be continuously updated with new content in order to keep them feeling fresh and enjoyable. However, as I said, with Activision coming in and wanting to push Blizzard into a much more monetizable direction, we could honestly see things like that start to make drastic changes. Will we, the players, ultimately benefit from this? Honestly, probably not. Unless you're someone who doesn't have the game currently and can't afford to spend 40 or $60 for the title on PC or console, and making it free to play will be your only way of actually getting into the game, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot that us long-term players have to benefit from a transition like this. Yeah, maybe we'll get some cool exclusive free skins and whatnot to compensate for it, but overall, I'm kind of nervous about this coming true. If I had to bet my money on whether or not it will happen in 2019, I'd probably say no, despite everything I've talked about with Activision so far, but more than ever, it does seem like a possibility, which is a little scary. Definitely let me know your thoughts about this topic by commenting down below and voting in today's poll card. Do you think that Overwatch will be going free to play in 2019? And if so, is it something that you're going to be happy about? Either way, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with a friend if you really liked it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit up the bell to keep up with all my future Overwatch content. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, I'll see you guys in Smurf Village.